Hey everybody, Chloe of Nobody Special here, and oh my gosh, has it been so long since we filmed anything, right? I know what you're thinking. Are they ever going to film more Miracle League again? And that's actually a question we've been asked pretty nonstop the last few months while we've been on our hiatus. And I want to let you all know it is coming. <laughs> it's just going to take us a little bit of time. Our fall was really crazy. But so to kind of ease ourselves back into filming and uploading, I am going to do an unboxing and review with you today of lightinthebox.com. So lightinthebox.com is an online retailer which sells a ton of different stuff, but the part that we're excited about is the cosplay category. So their cosplay and costume page has things broken up into various little like mini sections. So you have like the movie and TV costumes, you have the holiday ones, you have a category that's just like Zentai and bodysuits, um, anime cosplays. It's really cool. Go on there, check everything out. So when they reached out to me, they wanted to send me something to review. So <laughs> I have been really wanting to do this cosplay for a long time. It's Summoner Yuna. She is one of my favorite video game characters of all time. If you follow my Instagram, you already know that I've done Yuna before. I do Gunner Yuna. She has a special place in my heart because her and Titus are just the sweetest little love story ever. But so I've wanted to try Summoner Yuna for a long time, but as you can tell by her design, that's not something I necessarily want to do myself. There's details in her obi, there's details on her skirt, there's just details everywhere. And I like details to an extent. I learned how to sew so I could make my own stuff because I was a broke college kid. And now that I have an income, I've been, I make things that I really like. But there are definitely times when I would just rather buy it and not have to worry about hand embroidering all those details or painting them all on. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start opening this bag and see what all they sent me. So here are the sleeves. That is a beautiful gradient on them, which was another thing I didn't want to have to do myself. You can kind of tell when I hold it up. Oh, that's pretty. I love kimono sleeves. I like the beads on the end, so you can kind of see them. All right, here is the Ovi, or at least part of it. Okay, so the flower is kind of like uh, printed onto the fabric. It looks like the edges of it have kind of been sealed so that it's not gonna fray. There's no hem or anything. Got the two tassels that hang out front. So I was expecting these parts to be more plastic or something hard. I'm not a fan of this being crumply fabric. I'm sure if I were to iron it, it would lay better, but chances are, you know, I'll just end up replacing it with Warbla or something in the future to get it the way that I want. And let's be honest, even if I'm only replacing one piece, it would still probably be less money total than trying to do all of this myself. All right, so here's the back of the OB belt bow thing. They added padding to it, which I really like because it's gonna give it that fullness that you want and it's not gonna droop. Like, that's how it is. It came with a little pin so you can pin it on, which is nice because then you don't have to worry about threading it through the belt. I mean, it didn't really come with anywhere to thread it. It's way too thick. I guess if you were being super accurate, this part right here wouldn't be sewn down where the pin is and you'd thread it through. But let's be honest, pinning things on will save your life because it's quick. Gold tassel to go around the obi. I'm gonna say is a skirt. Highly doubt it's the bikini top, which the, is the only other part that's black on her costume. So I don't know if it'll work for me. Also, let's look at the skirt, one of the most iconic parts of her outfit. 
It's all pre-pleated, which I'm happy about. I was, I don't know, hold on, let me see. Okay, that's, that's a lot of flowers. Okay, I'm okay with this. I thought there was gonna be more flowers possibly. Like maybe it was going to go wider. Okay. This, okay, this part is the, um, the boob cover parts of her outfit that her bra kind of goes over. I don't think I'm wearing this right <laughs> at the moment. This is nice. It's got elastic on it to get the bunch correct and then the OB goes over top of it. A few more things that came in this package that I wasn't expecting. Um, most of the time when you order a cosplay, you're only getting the fabric. Um, very rarely do you get any of the jewelry that goes with it. And I think they included all of her jewelry besides maybe her earring. So first, we have Yuna's ring and oh no <laughs> it looks like it broke off <laughs> but look at that isn't that pretty see that's really pretty but that's an easy fix I have some industrial strength glue I'll just put that on and it came with an adjustable ring base so I can make it bigger or smaller for when I fix it there we go her necklace and the clasp is in the front right there which I don't know if I'm a big fan of where they put the clasp I'm used to it being hidden away if you zoomed close enough on the pictures that would be visible which kind of sucks but I mean it's real easy to reposition clasps and stuff if you have some pliers and you can buy those little rings at Joann's or Michael's even Walmart if you want to clip some things apart and then re-clip them together so you can move the clasp wherever you want. Definitely not a deal breaker. Ooh, I like how big the beads are. And if it's perfect for the summoner. If you're looking to save a lot of time and money buying various fabrics and possibly messing up gradient dyeing, hand embroidering or painting, buying a Yuna costume, from Light in the Box may not be such a bad idea. So this is what it looks like when it's all on. All in all, I am very impressed with this costume, um, especially when I factor in how many hours it would have taken me to make it myself out of scratch. The gradient dye is pretty flawless on it. I love it. Um, one thing that's a little bit weird is this top part. Um, I like how comfy it is, but it's not long enough to lay properly as you can see I'm kind of choking myself whereas Yuna's is supposed to have like a gap so that you can see her necklace um it's so tight I can't really do that and I could pull it out of the obi a little bit more but let me go ahead and angle the camera so you can see what that looks like so when I pull it up more because it doesn't need that much space the elastic uh, starts to show and it just kind of looks a bit odd so I really don't have a whole lot of wiggle room um, to fix that uh, the only thing I could really do as far as alterations go would just be to remove it <laughs> and um, remove the elastic and then pin it into place uh, but it probably would just be easier if I made a new one that's slightly longer probably without elastic um, I don't know uh, the skirt it doesn't have the slit in the side like it's supposed to but as far as how far up the flower pattern is supposed to go uh, according to the actual character design model it is supposed to go like all the way to the top you just never see the top really because of how the pleats fold so all I really have to alter with this costume to make it sit better would be to redo this top part and that's it and then everything else is purely for cosmetic accuracy purposes if I want to go ahead and do that um, all in all I really like this costume I'm happy that they included the jewelry even if you can't really see the necklace with how I'm currently wearing it so big big shout out to light in the box cosplay thank you so much for this costume I am so excited to take some awesome pictures in it and share them everywhere because Yuna is my favorite character. Thank you 
everybody for watching this video. I totally just broke my ring. Oh, look at that. I broke it off again. <laughs> I may have to um, find a better solution for keeping that attached. So thanks for checking this video out, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe, share it with all your friends who may or may not be looking for their own cosplay adventures. So have a good one, guys. Bye.